Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, I've been away for a long time uh, from my channel, trying to figure out what to do with it, and I'm sort of setting myself up here to do some more, um, you know, reviews of things that I've purchased and so on. And so something I've just purchased here uh, last week is a product called Editor's Key or by Editor's Keys. I know that is the company, editorskeys.com. Um, I'm not endorsing anything here, it's just I bought this. Uh, it's a keyboard. Now I'm a recent um, purchaser of uh, FL Studio Pro, um, which is you know audio sequencing recording software and uh, music production software. And uh, I've been learning that and it's coming along very well. And I saw this keyboard while I was looking at MIDI keyboards. Eventually this keyboard came up and what it is it's a custom keyboard for FL Studio, and this company does keyboards for all kinds of programs, Photoshop and, um, you know, uh, Premiere and stuff like that. And the, the point of the custom is that they put all the shortcut keys on the keys, which is normally a little bit, yeah, you know, why get a whole keyboard? Why not just have a piece of paper? But uh, I thought it looked like a really nice keyboard at the same time. It's a backlit keyboard. Um, I thought I'd like to dedicate it, I'll, I'll, because I use a, another keyboard for typing, and I'd sort of keep this on my second screen for, um, just for FL Studio. And the thing was, I couldn't find any reviews of this particular one on YouTube. Although I could find uh, reviews of similar ones, you know, um, you know, there's three or four reviews uh, for the same type of keyboard for other programs, and so this is the one for FL Studio. I thought I'd um, do an unboxing and a, a first impressions video, partly to test out my new setup here. This is my workbench. I've just put a light left and right my GoPro on a gooseneck and I'm trying it out. I'm just talking into the GoPro microphone. I don't know if it's wobbling when I wobble the bench. I can't really tell. I've got a new desk which is really nice. So here we go. I'm going to give my first impressions of this, just an unboxing, and then I proposed that I use it for a couple of weeks and then I might do a follow-up video just to see how it went and decide whether it was worth having. It's a bit of a luxury item to have, I think. You know, a custom keyboard with with keys just for your program. But, <laughs> you see, instead of buying the keyboard, you could just buy a, a big print out of that and stick it on your stick it below your screen, right? However, it's a very nice keyboard. Uh, this is other stuff they do. Those are the keyboards, backlit keyboards for Mac, and that's the thing. It's backlit, so it works in dim light, which of course is typically how I'm doing stuff. Anyhow. I was surprised I didn't come across these products until several months after sort of being into FL Studio and searching for stuff and dealing with, you know, keyboard reviews and so on. And then all of a sudden this popped up. All right, let's have a look. This is upside down, FL Studio Fruity Loop Studio Backlit. And they do a couple of types. They do one that's backlit and it's more expensive and they do a cheaper one that's slimline and it's not backlit. And so I bought the good one because, you know, it's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Beautiful packaging. I have to say it's beautiful packaging. Uh, so let's see what it looks like. I hope I washed my hands. Oh, yes. Very nice. Yeah. I think there was something on the web page about it being funded by a Kickstarter. Important setup instructions. Mm -hmm, no software is needed. What does the color coding represent? Because, you know, see, it's got color code as well as the things. You could just make it all black and white, you know, black keys with white lettering or something. But um, they've grouped the controls by the type of, uh, by the group the shortcuts by sort of what it does, what type of thing it is. For example, in something or other, all related play functions are grouped in pink, whilst timeline tools are grouped in yellow and so on. How to use the backlights. Press the on and off buttons on the top row of the keyboard here. The PC version has additional brightness up and down buttons on a Mac. The backlit also changes the levels of brightness. Okay, 
brightness down, brightness up, backlight on, backlight off, on, off, or on, off, up and down. Okay, great. Let's have a look and see what it's like. It's sort of a chiclet style keyboard, which I thought went the way of the dinosaurs with the Sinclair Spectrum or the 70s pocket calculator, but uh, Apple has brought it back from the dead and it's alive and well these days as a as a fancy keyboard. Um, personally, I like old-fashioned keyboards with big, thick keys, like an old IBM PC keyboard. So this has a permanently attached uh, cable tie, which is nice. Very good. And a cable. And it's a nice long cable. I don't know how long it is, but it looks like it's Looks like it's about six feet or so. Okay, what are we looking at here? Let's see what it feels like. Nope. I'm not a touch typer. I just uh, bash away at the keys. Okay, well, it feels quite nice. It feels like a chiclet keyboard. Quite large keys. Can I game on it? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, one thing you can't tell on the website is, well, what is it, what is the actual design like? What is it? So is it, uh, I see, it's sort of got a, it's raised at the back permanently up to that level. And then there's uh, the same old, oh gosh, that adds all of, that adds all of five millimeters to the height. So that's not really doing anything much, hardly anything. Uh, let's see. What else? So the cable's a little bit stiff. The eight these cables where it takes ages for it to settle down. I should just have a soft cable that just sort of settles straight away. Um, the cable can't be routed anywhere else. It just comes out in the back, in the middle. There's no choice about that. I note the uh, case has got this, what looks like a battery cover, but it's not. It's just in the molding. Obviously they must have different keyboards for different things and maybe Maybe one of them can have a battery for something. To, maybe it's a maybe there's a wireless keyboard or something. Uh, probably is, I guess. All right, but um, I'd say this feels pretty good. Just having a little look at the um, keys to see what they look like. And look, I'll I'll flip the lights off and I'll turn it on. We'll see what the backlighting looks like. I'm just going to plug it in over here. Actually, I'll turn the lights off and then we'll then we'll plug it in. See what it comes on like. Here we go. Okay, that looks different from the website. See, on the website, the keys are all all nice and saturated and even looking, but uh, here we can, of course, see the. Uh, see the molding or the casting of each key, the plastic, and where the LED sits and where the um, clip things, you know, the little butterfly spring things are. That's all in there. Um, you can see right through it, same here. But what the hell, it works. Yeah, it's a bit ugly. A bit ugly, but it will definitely do the job. And the idea is, I should be able to pick up things quite a bit quicker. Zoom one, solo one. Okay, I can see that the um, it's not just one shortcut per key, which is what I was worrying about. It is multiple depending on which of the Shift, Control, and Alt you press. So the default initial action would be the thing at the bottom. Oh, I don't know if this um, GoPro is actually showing me this clearly. Let me try and turn on the thing. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. I can sort of see that. Um, it's probably a bit burnt out, so the colors are not so obvious now, but um, say on key one, it says zoom one, solo channel one, pattern one, and the colors, the zoom one is in this blue here, the shift blue, the solo is in the control red, and pattern one is black, so that's obviously the default action of the key. Uh, that's interesting. F10, I already know, is MIDI settings, and sure enough, that's what it says on it. 
that's nice it's also got little pictograms little icons of uh, what these things are oh, this matches what's on the FL studio screen so that's useful the playlist I use these things a lot but I don't know any of the keys for these quite frankly the only thing I know is um, is actually the F10 MIDI settings <laughs> that's the only keyboard shortcut I know apart from play look um, I'll wrap that up there I'll get the lights back on here Oof, sorry for the brightness there, burning that out. Uh, yeah, nice. I'll leave that. And if you got any questions um, about it, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, there we go. I'll follow this up in a couple of weeks or so and see if it has actually helped me uh, speed up the use of um, FL Studio. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.